Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do, and I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I'm using my CV Heldestrand. This is Swedish steel, Swedish made. That is a 4 8 blade, full hollow, just a fine razor. Maddie honed this up on a JNAT. I will have that information down in the description so you can check that out if you're interested. Now, for our soap tonight, here we go. This is Strike Gold Shave, and this is Nixon. So this has got just a marvelous limoncello scent. Really enjoy this one. It is so good. And I have had that blooming. Yes, I have. So we're going to pour off that bloom water and put that on as a pre-shave. Yep. I did just get out of the shower as well. So I've already prepped the beard in the shower. I soaped it up real good and let it, let it stay pretty much throughout the whole shower and then rinsed it off. Yep. So gave that the lye in that soap. Time to work on the oil in those whiskers. Now for my brush tonight. Here we go. Now this is the Omega 10,098. That is a big old bore knot. It is just fantastic. Really a nice brush. And you can have it on the cheap as well. Let's go ahead and get that loaded up. Oh yeah. Yeah, so welcome to the midweek shave, the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day, hump day. Yep, hopefully you are in high spirits, the world's treating you good, and you're getting some good shaves, yeah. And hopefully you're healthy, yeah. That is always a plus, especially nowadays. Yeah, so it looks like uh, either tomorrow or the next day I will be getting my uh, vaccine. Yep. So it finally has come to work where I work now. And uh, hopefully that this will be the first shot. So this will be part one. And uh, hopefully that will get out to everybody where I work. We need it definitely. I work in a healthcare environment and really is important that we keep our uh, residents healthy where I work. Yeah. So now I, I'm thinking, wow, I'm thinking we may be there, but <laughs> let's just go a little bit more. Okay. So far, my track record hadn't been too good, but uh, getting better. Yeah. You know, just taking our time. Again, one of the most important things with straight razor shaving, I think we did it that time, is getting a good lather. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just get as much of that out of there as I can. Something like that. There we go. Now, yeah, so like I say, getting a good lather, so important. Especially when you're straight razor shaving. Take the time, do it right. Yeah, definitely. All right. Very important. Now, here we go. Got my Crown King Travel Scuttle. Now this is the unbreakable one. It has got hot water in there and it's cold here. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to work that brush a little bit more and get that lather in there as much as I can. And we're going to have a nice warm lather shave. Oh yeah. Okay. I think we're good on that. Now, oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, this limoncello is marvelous. 
really enjoy it. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now, let's go ahead and kick that up. All right. Yeah, so hopefully you have been getting some good shaves. Yep. We're into the new year. All right. And the next Street Razor Edge Friday special coming up, we are going to be talking about pressure. And we're going to be talking about mapping out your face. Okay. Now, this is not what you think it is. So I want you to uh, stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes open because this is really something I haven't necessarily talked about that much on this channel, even though it happens every shave, but that's okay. You know, we're going to talk about it because not all of us have that beautiful skin and that pretty face and stuff like that. You know, like us old guys, we got to do some stretching to really get a good shave. And uh, you young guys that got the great skin and everything, man, go for it. That is marvelous. Oh, yeah. Look at that lather. Oh. Yeah, buddy. That's it right there. It is. Now, this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that is going to be with the grain. Let's get going. There we go. Yeah, now this little razor does load up pretty quick, but it's a fine shaver. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Gonna find that mole right there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Now, get that cleaned off.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Check that out. That is some good soap. I'm telling you. Yes, it is. Yeah. And that razor is doing quick work on that beard. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice, comfortable shave. Relaxing. You know, just take your time. Enjoy it. All right, looking good, yeah, so good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and this little razor, you can really be very precise with it, which is nice. There you go, pass one complete. And it felt good, it did. Now, let's get that rinsed off, see how we did. Mmm, good beard reduction. Look at that, look at that. Really fine job. Yeah, it is. Now, let's get our lather on. Yeah, nice warm lather at that. That is nice. All right, let's put a little more water in that. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy face lathering as well. Getting a chance to really work the whiskers. 
with the soap. So good. Really is. There you go. Nice. That is great. Now, time for pass two. And for me, primarily, this is going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Nice. Oh, that is good. Now that was pretty much across the grain. Now right through here, this is going to be against the grain. And that razor was completely flat on the neck. And when I got to that chin area, I just was rotating it, trying to hold it as flat as possible at that point. When you're going around the bulb of the chin, just try to keep it as flat as possible. Then you'll get a good shave. There we go. Nice. Now I rotated that handle like that. Completely against the grain there and here. Nice. All right, switching up that handle again to do this side. Yeah, and the cheeks, that's all against the grain. Yeah, and the blade's pretty much completely flat on my skin. 
Now, this is going to be across the grain. There we go. Nice. Yeah, buddy. I'm telling you. There you go. Pass two complete. Felt good. All right. Let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, cheeks are brilliant. Right where they are. Excellent. Excellent. All right, now let's get our lather on. Nice. All right. There you go. Find that one right there. Okay. Time for the half pass. Let's do this. Again, that razor pretty much dead flat on my skin because that's completely against the grain in that area. Nice. Yeah. So good.
Yeah, stretching with my off hand there. And by the way, I'm holding my chin. Mm hmm. There you go, another shave in the books. And it did feel like a good one. Yes, it did. And just looking, no bumps were harmed in the filming of this shave video. Let's get that rinsed off. Oh, nice. Oh, that is good. Yeah, it is. All right. Now, we're still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic, and it will take care of those little bumps if you hit them. Tonight we didn't, but that is all right. Yep. So we'll go ahead and get that on. I put it everywhere. It will tighten up that skin, close those pores. It's just good. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now, I will dry that off just like that. And pick up my comb, which I dropped. All right. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse if you can get cold water. Follow it with witch hazel. In my case, I am going with the lemon. This is Thayer's Lemon. This is lemonade for the face. This is so good. It is amazing and really fantastic. Fantastic scent on this. I'm gonna go with that soap. Mmm, lovely. And I put that everywhere. I do. Yes, I do. Just like that. Next up, here we go. Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm. This stuff is fantastic. Helps get that skin moisturized again after a good straight razor shave. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, 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 nice. There we go. Oh, that is good. Yes, it is. Now, next up, here we go. Stetson Cooling Moisturizing Aftershave. This is, is going to be my kind of cologne thing. Yep. And oh, this has got a fantastic scent mm, as well. Just like that. Oh, nice. Consider hitting that join button to become a member and support this channel. There are perks for that. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see the 2020 Shaved In Tour series. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.